Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Plants vs Zombies Battle for Neighborville. Today, there is a brand new weekly event going on to celebrate the launch, the full launch of the game. There is Rando Ops. Spawn as random characters and battle waves of enemies in Ops. So, this should be a lot of fun. We don't know which side of Ops we're getting. We don't know which characters we're getting. We just get to hop in and have a lot of fun with it and <laughs> hope for the best, I guess. Um. Hopefully along the way we get to tackle some cool stuff. Ops has been updated since the last time I played it for you guys. They sort of did a 2.0 version of it where there is, I think, I think they, they tweaked some of the details, like it, it has better spawning rates or something. But along with that, they've also made it so that you actually can get epic boss waves now. So even if it's like if it's three in a row, you get like some uh, epic boss come in with the cool cutscene and everything that we had in World of Warcraft 1 and 2. That should be in the game now. Uh, waves of plants are on the way. This is your fault somehow. It looks like some of the other zombies have already spawned in. I'm playing a Super Brains, which honestly isn't that bad of a deal. We're playing with an All-Star uh, Electric Slide and 80s Action Hero. So let's secure the area. Looks like some people are spawning in bots and stuff. I should probably be doing the same, so if I see any spots to do that, I'm gonna do it. Looks like our teammates actually have it really well covered though, so good job to them. I'll stay up here for now, looking cool, holding out my shield. So wave one's coming in, we're just hopping right into the action today. It's great. Okay, here are some of the plants. Boom, <laughs> good punch on the first guy. Got him, very nice. The music's like a little different. Huh, that's weird. We'll try our best to get like perfect waves and everything, make sure that the uh, thing doesn't take any damage. Oh, ready, boom, not bad, not bad. But yeah, this is really cool that we get to spawn in a sort of a random character. It sort of takes the stress out of choosing, because I'm always trying to choose a character that'll be like strategically uh, relevant in a way, and sometimes that can be stressful. Who's hitting us now? Oh, lots of people over this way. Uh, so I'm definitely sort of like a, a frontline person right now. I'm sort of going out in front of everybody and trying to get most of the plants taken out before they really are around to, oh no, battle my teammates. But with that being said, I, it's also a bit of a risk if I get taken out, run, run away. I might have to turn around, pull my shield and walk backwards. But the problem with that, as you can see, oh, that pee's in Gatling mode too. Yikes. Um, no, 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 hold on, be careful. Wow, where are my teammates? I don't know. Yeah, we sort of got a bad luck at the draw here because we don't have too many healers, but that's why things like Dr. Heals right here, whoever put this down, thank you. Um, is great. Okay, yeah, get rid of the acorn. So it looks like we're not getting a perfect first wave. Our thing's already down to 97%. Boom. I love that super punch though. Super duper useful. Hopping up this way. Got him, and wave one completed. So that wasn't too bad. We got a no knockout bonus for uh, not getting knocked out. What do you know? Bonus thousand coins right there. Hmm. But definitely trying to get up on the uh, the roofs can be a very helpful way of just looking around and trying to find out where the plants are moving into. So it looks like there are some way over this way. I already see a kernel corn. My punch can't go that far, so we're gonna have to wait for them to come to us a little bit. But in the meantime, I could just throw one of the super balls. And that helps at least a little bit. Ooh, definitely get that chomper gone. Looks like our teammates are helping. So that's good. <laughs> Better to have teammates who help than teammates who don't help, right? Trying to back up at least a little bit here though. It's a little wild. Okay, you know what? Here's a perfect chance for a slam down move. There's a couple of plants just so we can damage a good chunk of them but just by slamming on all of them. Definitely getting rid of the healer would be good. Maybe we'll try to get, depending on how fast it goes, maybe we'll try to get two rounds of uh, ops done. If we can keep it this pace, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. Cause I'm pretty sure there's still only five rounds of ops. They didn't change that. I know some people were hoping they would change it back to 10. Honestly, I like the pacing of the five. I think it's it's pretty good. I'm enjoying myself so far with it. Okay, this chomper's been a bit of a problem. As soon as we get out of this cloud, we're gonna start spinning on him. That's it. Now let's get rid of this healer. There's, that's gonna make more problems than it's worth. Definitely be gone, chomper. Okay, so actually our gardenator, or not a gardenator, that's a, if we're on plants, our, our grave omatic doing really well so far. Has not taken a single percentage of damage so far this wave, and I think we're almost done. Oh, did somebody change into a scientist? I wonder, did they, did somebody leave and somebody else join? Because you can't change your class. So I'm guessing that somebody left and then somebody else joined, and they very luckily got scientists, so that's good. Level four achieved. 
There's a bot over this way that can be replaced. I'll get it. Don't worry, guys. There we go. We'll do a loudmouth bot. Slow them down a little bit if they get down there. I don't see any others. But yeah, wave two already done, making some good progress. So if we continue at this rate, I'll definitely do another round of ops. Hopefully we can get on the plant team. But I really like the idea of being able to spawn in a random characters, as I said before, adds a bit of an excitement to it. Now these plants think they can stop me? Vacquish those champions, oh no. In install grave o -matic. What exactly does that mean? We've already installed one. Okay, um, I think it's just glitched. <laughs> uh, anyways, we'll beat up as many plants as we can. Here comes the champion. Oh boy, charge up our fist. Oh, nice punch there. And then we're just gonna start spinning on him. Or not, where did he go? <laughs> Here he is. That didn't do much, did it? Okay, that's fine. Oh, let's get rid of you. 55 seconds to defeat them all though. Oh, here comes another one. Oh, got that right in the face. Not bad. I guess we get more time the more we defeat. So where are the other champions at? Was that all of them? Not bad. Okay, so yeah, there's a glitch going on where it's telling me to install a grave matic even though we've already installed one. But the four out of four, or zero out of four, was for defeating all the champions, which we did. So it looks like we're gonna get a bonus for that, which is awesome. Especially if we're doing it under a certain amount of time. There we go. How much more is left of this wave? Looks like there's a couple of normal plants and stuff. I think we got rid of all the champions we're gonna spawn in. I'd hope. You never know. But there's just a normal chopper. Okay, let's slam. Maybe I can get him. Yes, I can. At least I, I slammed them a little bit. Didn't do too much damage to him, though. If not anything else, it displaced them a little bit. Okay, who else do we got around here? Not too much. Only one more set of plants, it seems. Over this way. And we are going to slam on at least a chomper, right? <laughs> sort of. Not really. And there we go. We got it. Good job. Good job. Bonus wave completed for the bonus challenge. And for the no knockout, so that was 2,000 extra coins. We're making that money today. I like it. I'm looking to make an extra 100,000 coins soon, so that hopefully we can get uh, two, two million coins to do a spending spree at some point. That'd be fun. At this rate, that'll probably be at like episode 60 or something. I don't know. <laughs> but we'll just keep working towards it. There's so much to do in the game right now. It's been crazy. I've been very, very busy with it all. Okay, so the next wave is coming up. And it has, of course, a bunch of plants, but nothing special about this one. No champions, no theming to it, I guess. That's fine, that happens. Let's charge up our punch. Colonel Corn's trying to get all up close with me. You don't want to do that to his super brains. He'll get you. That's like an interesting move the dandelion has. It has like a, this move that'll like launch you up. Can I punch these guys from this distance? I can. Oh, there, there's an oak. Oh, somebody's go to fight too. Probably the all-star. I'm gonna try to help out with this. First, get started with some spinning. Punch out the oak. And then over this way, where does this rose think she's going? Nowhere, that's where. <laughs> there we go, good job, team. More plants are spawning in on this side. You can always tell because there's a little exclamation mark. Trying to let you know that there's action. Well, let's participate in that action. Not bad. And any more over this way? You bet there is a vase weed who can be quite tough. So that would be good to do. <laughs> okay, come on. I haven't been using the super ultra ball much. I probably should be doing that more. There we go. Just because it can do a lot of damage, it does some splash damage too. But the slam doesn't do as much damage as I was expecting. I thought that would do more than it really does. You are backing up so quick. You know what, let's close in the distance. Actually, this was a mistake. <laughs> I'm seeing how many plants are around here and I'm realizing how much trouble I'm in. I don't know where the scientist is, but I do know that there is an oak somewhere. Or did they already get rid of it? Okay, getting rid of the nightcap then. That's the big damage dealer out of the three abilities. That's the big one. We definitely work on that rose, she's gone. But when there's a big group of smaller plants like this, might be good to do the tornado spin then. There we go, got that. Running over this way. Work on this one pea shooter if I can. Boom. That did 60 damage, that's not too bad. I mean, it's not like a guaranteed one hit takedown. The scientist got taken out, I'll try to help you out, buddy, but you gotta stick with the team. Ah, oh, where did it go? 
Oh, that's it. When they get vanquished like that, they respawn as somebody new. Well, that stinks. We could have really used a good scientist. Oh, well, that's fine. We'll make something work. We got another Dr. Heels over this way. Whoever's been putting those down, I really appreciate it. Maybe it's the same Dr. Heels, but I'm pretty sure I got taken out at some point. Oh, come on, <laughs> somebody get you. There we go, wave complete. Another no knockout bonus for us. And the final wave is coming up already. Wow, they just keep coming as if in waves. <laughs> I guess so. The next wave begins in 20 seconds. What's going on now? I mean, it should be the little roulette thing. We'll find out. Oh, there's some plant pots to build. Thank you. And over this way, we got one more. Uh, well, oh, I didn't get to do it. Okay, what is it gonna be? Oh, whoa, it's a spooky squash. Boss defeat bonus. Oh, so maybe it's a little bit different here. It doesn't line up three. It's just an elite boss. Look at this. Oh, this is so cool. Oh man. It is the spooky squash. The pumpkin squash. It changed up his name. Up to no gourd. That is so cool. Okay, let's fight him. A cauldron bubbles nearby. Wow, this is like a proper boss hunt then. You actually have to go and do like the boss hunt kind of thing. So drop the pumpkin, we gotta do something with this. Uh, right? I don't know. Uh, a gluttonous chomper appears. I can't quite remember, it's been a year or so since I've last done Spooky Squash, so if I could, I don't think we can do any damage to him right now, but everybody is still going to relentlessly attack him and not realize that. Good old Spooky Squash memories, right? <laughs> okay, so what we're supposed to do, I guess, is go over this way and beat up this chomper, because this is what has the objective marker, so it's most likely what we gotta focus on. So here's the chomper, he hasn't noticed me yet, so if I could actually just totally miss my Ultra Ball, that's perfect. Okay, he's, has he noticed me? He really is gluttonous, he's got like a sundae on his head. None of them have noticed and are still all attacking the Spooky Squash. Like, how much attacking him without seeing the health bar move does it take? Here, stay together. Maybe that'll help them. But they're all still attacking the Spooky Squash. This really does bring me memories back of the original Spooky Squash boss hunt, where literally nobody on Earth knew how to beat him. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, gotta be careful of this Chrono Corn. Is he also a champion? He's not, thankfully. Here, where are they? Where's like an over here button? There's too many options. Uh, I don't know, I need like a, uh, I wish I could just find an over here button. <laughs> What's up? That was the worst one I could have chose. Because we just need to beat this guy. That's all we gotta do. Come on. Cause like it says in big letters, you know, just like, hey, defeat the chomper. And there's like a big marker towards him. I don't know what more can we do to figure this out. Okay, now they're starting to move over. Okay, come on, get him. Beat him up, beat him up, beat him up, beat him up, beat him up. Uh, that sort of worked. He just runs away, which is actually really hard to keep up with as a Super Brains, most of the time. But I sort of got him called up there with my slam. There we go. Okay, can I tell them thanks? Thanks. Okay, so somebody can pick this up, and I hope that you know what to do with it. <laughs> You're supposed to be going back to the gourd now. Or the, whatever it's called, you know. It's over this way, I'll protect you as much as I can. Don't worry about it too much, okay? Yeah, that's it, keep running, keep running. The Spooky Squash is coming over this way. I mean, I know his name's not, it's Pumpkin Squash now, the Colgen Bubbles. So what does that mean, exactly? Uh, this part, I actually don't know what's next. Okay, now somebody can like drink out of it, right? Supercharged, okay, we are supercharged and almost about to die. Not a good timing. Um, ow, come on, come on, come on, come on. Or is this guy, super? he's supercharged. So we do extra supercharged damage Ouchies, I got taken out. Maybe somebody can revive me. If not, oh, I don't even know if I can be revived. I'm auto spawning in 12 seconds. No, I'm being revived. If I can just have somebody who fires quickly, if I could be an all-star actually, that would work out great. Because then when we're supercharged, we can just do a ton of damage if we just point and shoot. Okay, I'm being revived though. Uh, I might not have a choice. Nope, I'm being revived, thank you. So, unfortunately, we did not do much with our, our superpower there. 
So we only have six minutes left to do this. At this rate, we might not survive. <laughs> that would not be good. And that's where ops can be really difficult. Just because, I mean, boss hunts used to be so difficult for this specific reason. Even with communication, it can be hard to communicate what we're supposed to do. Uh, who knew that cooking could be so diabolical, make more soup? All right, well, I'll do what I can. So for this one, we don't need to attack him anymore. He does not take damage unless we're souped up. It just doesn't do anything. So what we need to do is go over this way and fight whoever has the quest marker on it. I'm glad that somebody figured it out with me. I just wish that our whole team could get the picture. And like, I don't even know if this is actually like a problem with the game. I think the game's explaining it just fine. I just don't think the people like reading objective markers, they just like attacking the big boss. <laughs> so it just, it gets a little weird at times. Okay, let's slam on this guy or not. I didn't mean to fall so forward. Yeah, okay, it looks like we have two all-stars here now. So at least we got these two guys getting it. I don't know where the electric slide is. I think she's still attacking the spooky squash. Oh wow, we got him, good job. So yeah, pick up the candy, you got it. So these guys, they understand now. We got a team going on. Three is a crowd, as they say. So, oh, she's coming over. I think she's starting to piece together, good job. There we go. So, the cauldron's gonna bubble up and one of us can get the thing. So, what I wanna do is drink it, and now I'm supercharged. So everybody has to stay near me. So, stay together. Um, oh my gosh, it's a lot of stuff. So I wanna get through it as much as possible so that we can smack you with that. That didn't do any damage, actually. Um, stay together. Ow, <laughs> ow, come on, just move, move, move. Come on, we don't have much time with it. But we're doing some major damage now, stay together, stay together, ouch. Oh man, run, 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 come on, come on, we can do it, we can do it, we can do it. we're stunned right now, but that's okay. That didn't really do as much damage as I was hoping for, but maybe we can just start spinning, start spinning on him. That sort of worked. Come on, that's it. Nice stuff, even if I get taken out here, that was worth it. That was worth it. <laughs> oh my gosh, crazy. See, if we can do that one more time, we can win this. We really can. Even though on the top right, look, it's a Spooky Squash Vanquish All-Star. So is he Pumpkin Squash? Is he Spooky Squash? The world may never know. He might have multiple aliases. Okay. Come on, let's, let's start fighting these guys if we can. Let's jump and slam on them. We don't have much time left. We're going against the clock, as you can see on the bottom right. We have three minutes and 40 seconds. So I need to run over this way and start taking out that uh, chomper, because he's gonna keep spawning stuff in no matter what. Uh, did that guy need to be revived? I don't know what was going on there. Now we have another Super Brains on the team now. Okay, everybody's attacking me right now though. Oh, we got him there. That was good, that was good. I'm gonna try to jump and meet him halfway. Oh. He's sort of stuck in the corner. Keep him that way, if we can. <laughs> Come on, keep punching him, keep punching him, keep punching him. Oh, he's trying to get away from me. He's afraid. He got into another corner though, awesome. There we go. Uh, so I need to run this way now, back to the cauldron. We now know exactly what to do. This is a lot of fun. This is practically its own boss hunt though. I mean, this is taking way longer. This, this on its own is taking longer than the first four waves did. Okay, so the cauldron's gonna bubble, and just like last time, you guys know what to do. We just need to snag it. I wish that we could all have some. Okay, so, where is he? He's over this way. Um, and boom, we have 30 seconds to make this work. I feel like he healed up a little bit. I don't know about that, but that's it, that's it. Oh, <laughs> he stunned me. Oh no, we all do have it, look at that. Okay, I swear it wasn't like that last time. It didn't let me do that, but maybe I'm wrong. Okay, well, I'm just gonna charge up my fist from back here. I was trying to stay nice and close to him. So I didn't have to worry about, so that like my teammates could uh, you know, do what they had to do. And there we go! That was amazing! Hey, uh, <laughs> there we go. That was great, good job team! We defeated the spooky pumpkin, pumpkin spooky squash. And we get a prize bulb. That was amazing. That is exactly what I'm talking about. It took us some time to figure out what to do as a team, but then we eventually figured it out. And that's all I ask for, so. I'm happy about it. So that was amazing, tons of fun. Uh, honestly, that went by a little slower than I expected because the first four waves were so quick and then the, the last wave was so long. But I think we have enough time for one more round. So we're gonna go for it. I got 95 bot support, so I don't think I got anything that was like best in team. But we did a lot of cool stuff there. I had fun. And now we're gonna move to the next round. 
So now it looks like we're on Colossal Fossil Ops. I've definitely not done Ops here. So one thing I wanted to check really quickly, what is our, okay, so we do get some challenge to complete things there. Uh, complete Rando Ops without being vanquished. That's gonna be tough. Depending on if we get a, another big boss hunt too, that could be a problem. But I'll keep at it. I guess I'm playing as Acorn to start things off, which will make it even harder to not get uh, vanquished. But hey, I'm ready. Let's go over this way. I'm mostly just gonna be playing as Oak, I think. I think that'll be easier. Are people vanquishing themselves so they can play different characters? I think they are. Well, we have two Oaks now. Or, or three Acorns, actually. Me and two others. So who's gonna be the... Okay, and a Rose. Hold on, I'm setting up some plant pots. I'm not done. There we go. <laughs> okay, we got a couple over this way. I don't know what he's firing. I think he's firing at the other acorn, telling him to hop on. Well, we'll see what ends up happening. Uh, let's grow this one. And then over this way, let's grow one more. Right there. I probably shouldn't put the heal flower there. That was a silly uh, uh, selection. The zombies are popping up almost immediately. That's crazy. Yeah, it'll be interesting since we haven't done ops on this. We already have done zombie ops though, so now we're doing plants. And that's fun. Let's get rid of the, the soldier. Trying to keep our our thing at 100%. I don't know what the possibilities are of that, but that'd be nice. Because I've noticed that the difficulty is a lot more sort of all around in this ops compared to Garden Warfare because you got to choose the difficulty in that one. Can't do that as much in this, as far as I've been able to tell. Cool, that didn't do as much as I was hoping for, but that's okay. Let's throw some logs out. Not bad. And then over this way, we got some stuff going on. Get rid of the soldier. Oh, he's a goat now. He's a goat soldier. There we go. Watch out for the signs behind you. I got you, Rose. You're protected. There we go. <laughs> got the imp with the logs. Not bad. So far, so good. There's still more of them, though. Get rid of them. Thank you, and wave complete at 100%, no knockout bonus. I wish we got a perfect bonus as well. I mean, that was something that used to be in the game. If your uh, garden or graveyard didn't take any damage, you get a perfection bonus for that. I wish that was something that would happen here. So I don't know why the other acorn doesn't wanna hop on, but you know what, it might be good, because we get like a good spread. There's another one to spawn in over this way real quick. Yep, I, I know, I'm going, I'm going. And we'll get that, not bad. Okay, so wave two. Looks like some zombies are coming in from this side. Not from that side at all though. So we'll see how things are going. Oh, here we go. Oh man, that was like a triple vanquish right there. Uh, there we go. Roll the logs down, try to beat a couple of them up like that. These uh, goats being a bit problematic for me. Thank you for the heals, friend. Who do we got on this side? Uh, though there's a nightcap now. I guess that acorn got vanquished, that's a shame, but it's okay. Not bad. S still, so far we're at 100%. Oh, it looks like the acorn jumped out. He wants to do his own things, I can't blame him. Let's try to get rid of this guy before he goes off with his, uh... there we go. <laughs> See you, buddy. Is everything okay over this way? Maybe too many people are Getting vanquished, I should help out a little bit more. Sorry. I got distracted by the Captain Deadbeard. Oh, you wanna come down here, huh? Well, I guess that worked out pretty well for you. <laughs> he jumps right over my log. There we go. And you, buddy, get out of here. No more of that. So it looks like they did 2% damage to our garden. Poor garden. So we're two steps closer to completing this entire thing without getting vanquished. That's sort of the focus I have right now, so I can get 20,000 coins out of it. I mean, it really depends. If we get an elite boss wave, that might make it a bit more difficult to complete that. But I think we can do it. Anyways, over this way, what do we got going on? Couple more things I can spawn in. I'll do that. And then over this way, I think this is a pretty prime area for a doom shroom. So I'm dooming it up. Uh, beat this wave fast so we have time for victory. Taco muffins. Taco muffins do not sound appetizing, Dave. I mean, like tacos, yeah, muffins, yeah, taco muffins, I'm gonna pass. 
So speed run. We're supposed to be vanquishing them before they, before the time runs out. Hard to do when I don't have too much speed, but I'm trying to get over there. Oh, hey, here we go. I'm contributing. Look at me. Where are the rest of them? I don't know. Okay, well, there's this guy over this way. Well, let me help out with this. Boom, see you, buddy. I see that super brains. I wanna, I wanna do away with him real quick. I, I, I don't know if I'm contributing as much as I want to. Okay, there's two super brains over this way. Hit them both with locks, or miss both of them. What is going on over this way? Got a television zombie. I'm trying to hit him. Not doing the best of jobs. Okay, come on, come on. Throw that log down that way. And the sap. I sort of exploded the sap too soon, which is unfortunate. Come on, got him. Got a couple more down this way. Oh, I got a prize bulb, not bad. If we have enough prize bulbs, I will try my best to, uh... oh, here we go. I <laughs> uh, will do my best to spend some of those at the end of today's episode. So we have 43 seconds remaining. So get rid of these zombies. Nice. I don't see any more out here. So I might wanna make my way backwards. Yeah, I really don't see any. Oh, 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 here we go, screen door zombie. I gotta get these stragglers so that everybody else can focus on the ones on the point, you know? Come on, come on, come on. We have 20 seconds left. I don't know what our chances are of actually getting rid of everybody, but I'm trying. Where are the rest of them? That's what I'm worried about, the stragglers. They sort of get away from us. See, that's not really cool that it works that way, that some zombies can just be sort of chilling out in the outskirts and just, you can't find them. That's sort of lame. Ah, uh, I tried, I really did. I just can't find them. You'd think they'd be making their way to the point, but no. Oh, here we go, here we go, I found one. See, he's stuck on a cactus. No, he's not. He was just, he's just being a jerk, trying to ruin our extra money. There we go, I got one. And there we go. That's a shame, but at least we get that no knockout bonus. Wave three is complete. Two more to go. Okay, so for this one, looks like you guys are spawning in some extra plant pots. Can't blame you. There's another one over this way, but looks like the rose has got it. Oh no, my doom shroom must have exploded at some point. Can I spawn in another one? That would be fun. So this is gonna be wave number four. So we have to survive this one so that we can tackle the boss wave. Special wave action flick. Ooh. I don't know if we've run into this one. We'll find out. Actually, maybe we have. With all the 80s action heroes, maybe? I feel like there was one like this that we did. Okay, I got the TV cone head. And then this guy taking him out before the logs even got to him. Oh, there's a lot more TVs over there. Actually, yeah, there's not really any 80s action heroes at all. It's all TV hats. So this is a little bit different than some of the other waves I've seen. Come on. I'm not doing very good at landing shots on him. I mean, it looks like there is some 80s action heroes, but just not exactly all I was expecting. Okay. Try to get rid of you a little bit. It looks like somebody must have gotten taken out. Yeah, because now they're they're a pea shooter. I mean, that's fine with me. Pea shooters are cool. Oh man, lots of explosions. Come on, we almost have our super sap again. Boom, that was cool. Throwing down the logs, double vanquish with the logs. We still have more to survive here. Don't get taken out. Remember, that's my big quest right now, is to not get taken out. Okay. Um. I don't see too much else going on. Oh, oh, is there something going on down this way? Oh boy. Okay, not bad, not bad. There's TV guys everywhere though. Level nine achieved as a acorn, that's nice. We'll probably get level 10 uh, in today's episode then. That'll be awesome. What else is going on down here though? Not too much at the moment. There we go. So let's definitely hit these guys with the logs. Got rid of the space cadet that way. Wave four is actually taking a while right now. More than I would have expected. Oh, no, that's, a, that's another oak. Yeah, I'll help you out with this one. 
And where are the rest of them? I don't know. Looks like the elk has had at least has at least found one of them, right? Huh? Oh, they're coming in from the side. They're always on the opposite side. I'm trying to look out for, which is very silly. Okay, so I don't know if that sap is actually gonna get anybody, so I'm just gonna explode it now. Not bad. And that seems like it would be all of them if it wasn't for the fact that it's not all of them. I don't see any else around here. There we go, good job team. Another thousand coins right there for no knocking out. Are you saying something? Hello. Hello. <laughs> Alrighty then. I'll get that there. Definitely we have to, uh, Reload some of these plant pots as soon as we can. Over this way, it's the same deal. That, that isn't too bad of a spot for your healing flower. And then once again, if we could do the Doom Shroom, I think that'd be pretty good. I don't see too much out this way. So what will be our final wave? We'll have the spinner. Oh no. Triple Gargantuar and Disco Zombie. You are kidding me. What are we gonna do about this? I mean, I guess just defeat them all. That's gonna be tough. Definitely if I can get over this way and help out this oak with also being an oak. Uh, also, try to get rid of these guys because if not, they're gonna cause big problems. All right, they're already hurting. If I get into too much trouble, I need to know when to back off so that I can heal up. Come on, keep going at him. Keep going at him. That's it, he's almost taken out. The double oak power is working out pretty well. That's it, that's it. An electric slide over this way should be at like no health. There we go. Come on. I'll wait for you to be finished spinning around. <laughs> we have plenty of uh, Gardenator health, so we can sort of ignore the Gardenator for the most part, as long as you know multiple Gargantuars aren't like bombarding it or something crazy like that. Yep, gonna do that. Over this way. It's actually quite a lot happening. Get rid of the healing zombie. Oh no. Oh, he's noticed me. He's he's noticed me. I'm sort of saying stay together, but I'm sort of also just trying to get like a quick way of saying like, hey, over here, I found him. I definitely need to find if there's an over here gesture, because that'd be perfect, because then I can just like, hey, over here, and then we know. Come on, come on. I need to back up a little bit because this is hurting. I might have to go this way. Yeah, this is my way out. Oh boy, it's hurting though. Ouch. So if I could just keep backing up, I know there's a heal flower over this way. We don't really have a healing class at the moment. That's sort of the, the tough part about it being rando is that you just don't know. And my healing flower's gone. Darn it, there's another Gargantua over this way. So we're dealing with two at once now. Definitely got some good damage with that though. But yeah, since I haven't asked you guys yet, what are your thoughts on this week's challenge, the uh, rando ops? I think it's good, bad, or somewhere in between. How far have you been able to make? Have you been able to get your weekly challenges done? I'm working on it right now, my weekly challenges. I've got at least one of them done. I would like to get this one now. The problem is you can't unlock the next weekly challenge without getting this one done, you know? So I can't do weekly challenge three without getting weekly challenge two done. I do love that the weekly challenges though, sort of mix in with the weekly events every time. Like to me, that's really cool. Wait, does somebody need reviving? Yes. This pea shooter does. Or no, that's an acorn. Thought that was a pea shooter. I was wrong. Wait, what happened? I don't know. That was weird. I guess they wanted to just revive. Anyways, come on. Get more of these guys. We don't have much left to deal with. We just gotta get rid of this one gargantuan. I think we're good. I mean, it just says on wave five, there's one more zombie. Okay, get him. Hit him with the logs. Hit him with everything we got, including logs. Come on, he's almost down, ouch. He's not going down without a fight though. There it is, boss wave completed, no knockouts, and we get a perfect ops bonus for completing the whole thing without getting taken out. And we should be getting a weekly challenge done for doing the whole thing without getting knocked out once again, 20,000 coins. Amazing work there, team. I love it. So there we go, five points all completed. Very, very nice. I don't know how many coins we'll get for actually completing the thing, but on top of that, I will at least take a peek at what our next week, our next challenge is. I don't know if I'll be doing it in today's episode. Complete rando ops five times. So yeah, I'm not doing that quite right now. I might do some of that between episodes just because, you know, 
With that being said, that was a lot of fun, but I think we're gonna be heading back now. So there was our look at this week's event, the Rando Ops. A lot of fun, and more importantly, we got to check out an elite boss fight with the Pumpkin Squash. That was a ton of fun. We have five orbs left over, so I wanna see if we can't afford anything. We can, even if it isn't too flashy, we can get up uh, or back this way, right? We go across here. We can get the three bulb cost RIP emote rip. <laughs> there we go. So that's cool. One step closer getting everything done, so that's a lot of fun. But with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville. Before you go, be sure to comment Rando Zebra, so when you've watched at the end, that you are a Zebratastic viewer. Also, subscribe to join the Zebra Herd. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>